statement, and then we will open it up to questions. Um, yeah, let me just say, um, boy, it's great to win. You know, I mean, we came up here, we had one objective. And that was to win the game. Uh, you don't know how it's always going to play out. Uh, you don't know how it's going to happen. You don't know if you're going to try and win a 7-3 football game, if you're going to try and win a 42-43 football game. But as we've talked about as a team, everything we try and do is that our offense and defense complement each other. It's it's winning football, and it's a winning formula. I was really proud of what our players were able to do today. Uh, I thought defensively we created some turnovers. Uh, I thought we were stout. I mean, we gave up one big play that resulted in points. Other than that, uh, I thought defensively we played an excellent football game. Kept the ball in front of us, uh, managed the game extremely well, just really proud of the way they played. There were some guys that were uh, all over the field. This guy that's next to me, um, I think Lorenzo, I mean, he's played – he played nickel all during camp, had an injury last week. He's had to play corner, uh, stepped up, I believe, as our leading tackler today, doing some great things. We've just got some guys that are that really just keep stepping up, but I think they've bought in as a team and just really proud of the way uh, they're playing. I think offensively, proud of the way we moved the ball, uh, but I thought our red zone offense uh, was – pitiful. You know what I mean? I thought our red zone offense, our production in the red zone was uh, was not what we have grown accustomed to and what we expect. We work on it way too hard. Uh, we've just got some mistakes down there. we got to get cleaned up. But uh, if you can win, if you can get it done on a win, uh, it's a lot easier to correct those mistakes on a win than after a loss. So just really proud special teams I thought stood up. We played much better this week than we did a week ago. Um, but just I thought, like I said, come on the road, uh, get a win. Just proud of this football team, what they were able to accomplish. I think, first of all, you know, Coach Hose does a good job about preparing us, you know, and then I wouldn't be back if it wasn't for him, plus my teammates. Um, but I'll just go out there and do what I'm supposed to do. You know, we just feed off each other out there, you know, making each other better each time we go out there and play. So I'll just play my role, and whatever happens, happens. If you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, so. Well, and I'll just say it starts with coverage because if, you, if if guys are open, he doesn't need to use his feet. You know what I mean? And so I think it starts with the secondary being where they were supposed to be. Uh, obviously, there was a lot of film last week with him being able to extend plays and make some things happen, and we really challenged our defensive line. Uh, and I thought those guys did a really good job of containing him for the most part. The couple times that he did get out, he was being heavily chased. You know what I mean? There wasn't a lot of space, and that was the object. Play great coverage and then have that that – defensive front, uh, just keep the ball in front and try, and try and track it down. And I thought they did a really nice job with that, but it started in the secondary. We were, we're really very – I don't want to say it. We're very simple in what we did because schematically they do some really good things. They limited some of the things we could do formationally. And so what we did, second game of the year, a lot of new faces. We really simplified the offensive game plan and not tried to make it too complicated because I know um, – they do a great job schematically. Uh, they can scheme you. I mean, when you look at, you know, Mike Nolan, I mean, when you look at his background, his experience as a D coordinator and what they've done. Uh, but I thought what they did and some of the adjustments they made, they took away our quarterback run game from a year ago. A year ago, our quarterback run system really hurt them. And I thought they did a really good job of not trying to chase the ball so much, but trying to let everybody 
kind of they played a picket fence and they did a really nice job. So uh, we were very simple with what we did so we could execute um, because they do create some problems for you. And I thought I thought our players adjusted to it. We explained to them why we were doing what we were doing and the challenges we had with their defensive front. And I thought, you know, there was a couple times that they brought some pressure that got to us. Uh, and that's one of the advantages to having two quarterbacks that both have feet. You know what I mean? And both Adrian Martinez was able to continue some plays and some drives with his feet. And so was uh, Matt Corral. So so um, I think, you know, that's one of the things that I think helped us a little bit, and I thought we did a pretty good job up front, our offensive line protection. Well, yes, right now, definitely. It's early in the season. I've said two years ago we played a lot with Jamar and Alex Magoo. Uh, felt like we were going to need them both to continue to do what we want to do. I feel the same way. We have two quarterbacks right now that are playing really well that protected the ball today. Uh, they protected the ball. They did a nice job. They moved the chains, didn't put the ball in danger. I mean, Matt had the one interception down there in the red zone on a scramble that I knew he wished that ball was on a string as soon as he threw it. Um, but, yeah, we have two quarterbacks. I think they're both uh, they're both really solid quarterbacks, and maybe I'm taking stats away from one by by getting two quarterbacks ready. But as I've told both of them, it's what we're trying to build as a football team. They both came here to get film. Uh, we've got a lot of guys on this roster that came to get film. We're playing multiple guys in the secondary, multiple running backs. We're playing multiple tight ends. We're playing multiple defensive linemen. We're playing multiple linebackers. Uh, everybody's got depth right now in this new league, and I think the key is that one guy doesn't have to play 70 plays. Let uh, roll these guys, play depth, keep everybody ready because the second quarterback is one injury away from going coach and taking the snap all year and now you're going to put him in a critical situation at any position. So yeah, right now uh, I plan on getting both these quarterbacks ready and we're going to see how it progresses and see how they continue to both grow and develop as the season goes on. You want to add on that? What do you think? Just keep stacking every week. That's it. That's all we can do. I mean, he preaches it every week. Just keep stacking each week. There's not much to be said about that. We just got to keep getting better. As we've said all along, we don't know how good this team can be. I think this is the most talented team we've had since we've been here in the three years. But I think every team in the UFL can probably say that. This is the most talented team they've had since the USFL or the XFL began. Um, so the key here is not going to be the team with the most talent. It's going to be the team that continues to grow and develop as the season goes on. Uh, he talks about stacking days, stacking weeks. We just got to keep getting better. And I don't know how good we can be, but let's make – Dang on sure at the end of the day we're as good as we can be, and that's the testament to these players, their work ethic, their attitude, and that's why we've been able to have success. We just got to keep getting better, and we're, you know, we're blessed. We're very grateful to be two and zero. Like Dorothy said, there's no place like home. Uh, we're excited to get back to Protective Stadium this week to get back to Birmingham. Uh, it's been a long time since we've been there. I know everybody's excited to get back there, but uh, we just got to keep getting better. We got a short week. We're gonna have a challenging week with uh, Memphis coming to town. I think they've got a really good talent football team as well and we got to get ready to play and we're going to have a limited window to do that with only six days so uh, we're just going to have to we're going to have to kind of rinse this one out tomorrow is our off day and then Tuesday we got to come back to work ready to get into get into Memphis Thanks, Coach. thank you all very much appreciate it congrats though congrats